What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Fury by Heaviosity. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content, though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button. Hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into the review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So when you open up the plugin, it is going to look like this. Um, Fury is a distortion plugin that allows you to do a whole lot with this plugin. Um, so as you look here at the plugin, um, you have some basic controls over here. You have your drive, you have movement, tone, and mix. Then you have your input output here. You have different output modes right here as well. Right here, you have a whole bunch of different modules. Um, so basically you have different combinations of distortion that you can use. Um, so you have drive, you have distortion, and you have tone as well. Um, there's over 720 different combinations that you can use to get different kinds of distortion sounds, which is nice as well. Um, you also have your shape over here, so you can shape the distortion, and then you have modulation here as well. Um, so I made a little sample beat and I threw Fury on everything. So this is a distorted mess, but in a good way. Um, I threw the distortion on the guitar. I threw it on the piano. I threw it on the 808. I threw it on the drums. I threw it on the vocals. I mean, I threw it on everything. So um, the beat's not all the way mixed down like always, but let's go. All right, guys, so that's the little sample beat that I put together for you guys today. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this little region right here. Um, I have this little automation clip right here um, because during the chorus, I actually turned the Fury off the piano because it was a little much with the bit crusher going with all that distortion. Uh, but we're gonna put it on just so we can hear what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and hop back into Fury. I'm gonna go ahead and mute all the other tracks and kind of go through a few of the tracks and what I did with the plugin. Um, so this is what the piano sounded like without the Fury on there. So some basic chords, but once we threw Fury on there, um, we got it to sound like this. And then obviously if that's too much for you, you know, you can obviously pull the mix down a little bit. but I like that crunch. So um, again, you have different drive modes, different distortion modes and different tone modes. I said this earlier, but I wanna say this again. They say there's over 720 different combinations that you can choose between the two, which will get you some unique sounds. And there's like 126 presets or 130 presets, something like that as well. Um, so they give you a lot to work with on this plugin. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, the vocal next. Um, so I also put it on this vocal. Um, this is what the vocal sounded like from Arcade before I threw it on there. Get back. You know, so pretty solid, but once we threw Fury on there, we got it to sound like this. So super nice, unique sound, sounds really good. Um, let's listen to it on the 808 real quick before we start getting into presets and all that other stuff. The 808 was just a simple 808, and it sounded like this. Now, once we threw a Fury back on here, it sounds like this. And 
And as you can see, the GUI is going nuts. So that's also pretty nice too. Um, you get all kinds of different modulations and we'll get into that here in a second. What's nice about this plugin is that if you have any questions, obviously if you toggle over anything, it will tell you exactly what it's doing. Um, you have different um, modes that you can mess with too, and different shapes and different modulations that you can mess with. Uh, so again, um, like I said, there is a ton of presets in this thing. Let's actually mess with some of these modes and stuff real quick and see what it sounds like. So let's go ahead and push play. That one's crazy right there. Play more for a guitar. But let's go ahead and hop into some presets. Um, so let's check out some of the presets for the 808. So this is one of the presets for the 808. <laughs> So then let's check out some more presets. Let's go to some of these um, experimental ones. Let's see what these sound like. That one right there is kind of wild. Let's go to another one. So again, there's a ton of different presets to get different kind of distortion types and to make it sound different. And um, what's extra cool about this is that you can get underneath the hood and you can start messing with the shape. Um, so. Then they have different filter modes. Um, so you can mess with makeup, you can mess with high shelf, all that good stuff. You can come over here and mess with the character as well. So you can hear a little bit of the resonance in there with the feedback as you turn it up too much. So be careful with that. Then you got some cleanup controls over here as well. You also got this modulation page and the modulation page is pretty dope. Um, that's how you actually get this UI to go crazy. So you have to have the movement up at least a little bit in order for it to move. Um, but let's go ahead and start here with this LFO. Um, so let's go ahead and turn this on and push play. Um, and then you also have feedback and then you have output controls down here as well. So you can hear how it's going crazy now. Uh, the more we turn up the output, the more obviously the LFO is going to take effect. We can turn down this movement a little bit and blend it in just a little bit more. We can also turn down the mix a little bit and blend it in a little bit more. And so that's the easiest way to find the tone that you're looking for. Um, you have a sequencer as well. And what's nice about the sequencer, you can roll the dice on the sequencer if you want to. We're not gonna do that yet though. So again, you can do a whole lot and change up the different sound of that 808. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and throw it here on this guitar. Um, so I have this little guitar sample by one of my subscribers, my guy, Sir Chump. If you have not checked out his channel, go check out his channel. He live streams, he's pretty dope. Um, but he made this guitar loop for me. Um, so let's go ahead and open this back up and throw an instance of Fury in right here. Um, so let's see here, we got Fury is over here, boom. And let's check this out. Let's go ahead and just leave it on the, the default preset. So the guitar sounds like this before I throw Fury on there. All 
All right, so now once we throw some Fury on there, I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Once we throw Fury on there, it's gonna sound like this. And so let's go ahead and we can switch it up and listen to some more different kinds of distortions on there. That cleanish tremolo sounds pretty nice to me. I like that one. So again, you're getting a bunch of different nice tones, a bunch of nice distortions. Um, let's go ahead and see what we can get on some rhythmic real quick. All right, guys, so that's basically the plugin for you guys. Obviously, you can do a lot more than what I showed you. I'm not even gonna sit here and hold y'all though. Um, who is this for? You know, if you have cold fire or something like that, you might not need this distortion. I have thermal, but I highly enjoy this along with thermal. Um, my one con for this plugin is the GUI size. You can't make it any smaller. I don't know why they would make the GUI this big and not allow you to shrink it. But I do like this distortion a lot. I've had it for a week. Um, I've been messing with it a lot, um, kind of doing some sound design on some 808s and some other things like that. For me, I think this is a solid little distortion plugin for the simple fact that you have so many different kinds of drives and distortions and all that that you can mix together. So you can get just a bunch of unique little sounds with your distortion. Um, it's really good on anything as far as I'm concerned. So uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' this time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.